On July 20th, 21, the European aircraft manufacturer launched its next generation cargo aircraft. This will be the only cargo aircraft with a composite airframe, and its range, mass, and payload are extremely promising. This cargo version, the A350F, is expected to be Airbus's tool to break Boeing's monopoly on large cargo aircraft. So how far is the process of completing this new freighter? What does it possess to compete with the Boeing 777F? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please help us improve this channel even further by double checking that you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our updates. Now let's dive in. Recently on the official X page, aircraft manufacturer Airbus revealed its A350F cargo aircraft model. What impresses aviation enthusiasts is the largest cargo door on this model. Airbus is in the process of putting this aircraft into operation expected in 2026. Although the official payload range chart has not been released yet, they have previously shown that the aircraft's range and payload are also extremely surprising. It can fly at a range of 4,550 nautical miles with a payload of 111 tons and can extend up to 4,700 nautical miles at 109 tons. Airbus previously announced this new XL main deck cargo door as a result of customer expectations and the manufacturer's constant efforts to improve its aircraft. The largest cargo door on the market, with a clear opening width of 4.3 meters, approximately 169.5 inches. The XL door is designed for the transportation of all current and future Ultrafans aero engines and one-go entry of the longest items. The door offers comfortable clearances and safe and easy ground operations, minimizing the risk of damage to the surrounding structure, thus avoiding delays and flight cancellations. Based on the all-new design of the best-selling A350, the A350F leverages all the benefits of the passenger version to help large-body freight operators get a head start towards a sustainable future and more profitable. The A350 family benefits from advanced aerodynamics optimized from nose to tail and wingtip to wingtip, and the A350F brings the latest generation of efficiency and choice to the aircraft market to transport large cargo. This freighter is lighter than its competitors thanks to its composite airframe. The structure uses more than 70% advanced materials such as composite materials, titanium, and modern aluminum alloys, all to create a lighter and more cost-effective aircraft, while increasing corrosion resistance and reducing maintenance requirements. With advanced aerodynamics and equipped with Trent XWB engines, the aircraft offers unbeatable efficiency in terms of fuel burn, carbon dioxide emissions, and economics. This higher efficiency is a decisive advantage compared to the 2028 production limit of the ICAO carbon dioxide standard. With its new generation design, the A350F will be the only large cargo aircraft capable of meeting this requirement. The A350F's advanced technology enables a step change of up to 40% better economic and fuel efficiency versus older generation freighters. The aircraft is also perfectly poised to replace older generation freighters in terms of volume, range, and payload. Moreover, thanks to the Airbus aircraft family concept, it can be seamlessly integrated into airline Airbus fleets, benefiting from the same type rating as the A350 and the common type rating with the A330 family. Although there are many expectations for this aircraft, the road to bringing it to the sky still seems to be thorny. Airbus began processing the first components of this aircraft at the Nantes factory with the initial hope of delivery by the end of 2025. However, the company later confirmed that the delivery of the first A350F to customers will take place in early 2026, a few months later than originally planned. Responding to this issue, Interim Chief Financial Officer Xavier Tardy shared, We are in the execution of the program. We are in the development phase. We are starting the initialization of the product, so we are constantly updating the planning, and what we have said today reflects a slight slippage of the overall planning. At the time he made this statement, there were 39 firm orders for the A350F. The biggest customers were revealed to be Singapore Airlines and Etihad Airways, each with seven aircraft on order. However, the Airbus A350 freighter's entry into service for Air France KLM will be postponed by another six months, as stated by the group's director in an interview with The Telegraph recently. Initially, the Airbus freighter was scheduled to join the group's fleet in 2026, but this has now been delayed. The new expectation is for the first unit to be delivered in early 2027, where it will be utilized by Martinair's freight division. These new Airbus freighters are set to replace the currently operational Boeing 747. This delay follows previously announced setbacks to the program in 2023. Aircraft manufacturers are still grappling with supply chain challenges, resulting in delayed deliveries for their customers. 
The A350F signifies Airbus's strong commitment to capturing market share from Boeing and competing with the 777-8F in the freight sector. The A350F will offer a capacity equivalent to the Boeing 747F, but with a payload capacity said to be 5 tons greater than the 777-8F, ensuring strong performance for many operators. Specifically, the Boeing aircraft with a length of 71.8 meters has a slightly longer fuselage, greater height, and wider wingspan than the A350F with a length of only 70.8 meters. Regarding cargo load and flight range, Airbus says the cargo version of the A350 can carry 109,000 kilograms over 4,700 nautical miles. Boeing data records that the 777-8F can carry 112,300 kilograms over 4,410 nautical miles, while the A350F's main deck cargo hold has a capacity of 30 pallets, 244 x 318 centimeters in size, with another 12 pallets of the same size in the lower deck. Boeing's cargo plane will carry 31 pallets on the main deck and 13 pallets on the lower deck. Basically, the 777-8F will carry a little more cargo, but the A350F will be able to fly a superior range. Boeing says its plane has the lowest carbon dioxide emissions, while Airbus claims the A350F will burn 40% less fuel and emit 40% less carbon dioxide than the 747-400F and 20% less fuel compared to 777-F aircraft currently in production. As usual, when their products compete, Airbus and Boeing both say their planes are superior. Airbus calls the A350F the only future-proof option for a large, wide-body freighter. Airbus said the jet will have a cargo volume equivalent to a 747. The European plane maker added that the A350F will have a 17% higher revenue cargo volume and can carry an additional 3,000 kilograms of load compared to the current 777F generation. It can be said that both aircraft represent advanced cargo aircraft technology, each with its own advantages. The A350F stands out for its longer range, while the 777-8F has a slightly higher payload and innovative wing design features. Both aircraft incorporate the latest technology and materials to improve efficiency, but the Boeing airplane's new composite wing with folding wingtips is a notable improvement. They are all designed to be environmentally friendly, significantly reducing emissions, and improving fuel efficiency compared to older models. These two new products will continue to compete directly with each other in the market like the previous aircraft of these two manufacturers. The decision on which aircraft to purchase will likely depend on specific operational requirements such as range needs and payload capacity, as well as the long-term strategic considerations of each airline. Currently, the aviation industry is witnessing a significant trend towards more cargo solutions to cope with growing demand. Many supply chains continue to be disrupted by the pandemic and its ripple effects, so many components for critical industries are still being transported by air. That's why Airbus has set its ambition to achieve a market share of 40 to 60% in the cargo aircraft segment as a stepping stone to breaking Boeing's market power. With the number of A350 sold worldwide, this family benefits from excellent Airbus support. The A350F will leverage this proven platform, which has demonstrated strong maturity and a reliable support network, implemented by the same Airbus representatives. Do you think with this new cargo plane, Airbus will achieve the desired market share? Please share with us in the comments section below, and don't forget to share this video if you find it interesting.